kids. Welcome to Glenn's Drum Emporium. We are uh, still cleaning up the vintage Rogers drum set that I purchased uh, a number of years ago. And uh, it was just in storage, so I'm finally doing a, uh, a cleaning overhaul on it. Um, as the last video showed, um, we were doing the small 12-inch Tom. And, uh, uh-oh, our batteries are dying here. 12-inch Tom and uh, had lug issues, which were common to these early uh, uh, Rogers uh, drums. They're called the bread and butter lugs. Anyways, they're all fixed. I showed the procedure. The drum is back together. It sounds great. Tunes up beautiful. It's got the high boy rims on, which were common back then. And um, I have to get a new top head. This is pretty new, but we'll go with brand new ones on it. So we've been working on the floor, Tom. Again, this drum is near mint. Um, it's got the Rogers coating on the inside. Beautiful bearing edges for the time frame. His bearing edges were still something of an experiment on a lot of these earlier drums, but these are these are nice. I mean, the obvious thing is they're covered with this gray paint, but like I say, that was common. Nowadays, drum companies they uh, they have such a nice finish on the inside to match the outside. They're like a, a Cadillac. So anyway, so all the lugs are clean, the shell is clean, we're just going to assemble it. Um, I don't have a drum head for this. Um, this one's got a split in it. That's too bad, but I'm going to put it on here temporarily until I go buy some heads. The bottom head is fine, it's brand new. Um, these drums... Um, have the ultra rare... Um, floor tom holders, which are called the stay tight. Uh, you don't find these as often on Rogers drums. They usually have the swivel matic type. Um, but a lot of drummers, especially jazz club drummers, uh, wanted to tear down quickly, and these were super quick. Uh, it was just turning one screw, and the legs were adjustable. Um, very, very simple design, but um, I was surprised at how rare those were, and they are they are collectible, quite collectible. So I'm glad this kit's got it. Uh, dating Rogers drums, and I like dating any vintage drum is difficult because uh, most companies didn't keep tabs on uh, a lot of the stuff very well. There are codes, code badges. I'll show you right here. Right there. It's also got an aftermarket stamp you know, from Toronto, Canada, where they imported the drums and they always put their stamp on. So it says, uh, R and A Selmer Limited, Toronto, Canada. Um, the drums are manufactured in the states, but they put that stamp on uh, when they were imported. As you can see, the Rogers sticker on here is Cleveland. It's got a serial code of uh, number four zero five eight three. Dating this drum puts it roughly in nineteen sixty two and sixty three area um, but that is a it's not an exact thing but uh, pretty close uh, most most collectors will say that's a good starting point um, this here drum we dated it at 59 if I remember correctly this is the Spotlight series, and it's got a four-digit serial number. Dating it, 
dating that drum into roughly 1959, 58-59. So the person bought the spotlight drums, which never came with a floor tom, and then added a floor tom later. Um, you always had the option when you're buying the spotlight series to add a, uh, if you wanted a floor tom, you went to the, the next model, which was the holiday, holiday. So all these drum manufacturers had different models, right? Um, and the Spotlight series came with a snare, kick drum, and a tom, and you just ordered the matching uh, floor tom from the other series. Now, they switched to these lugs. These are called beaver tail lugs. Those are bread and butter lugs. They went from that to this. Now, Rogers made a one-year-only beaver tail lug. And that's what I'm wondering if this floor tom has. They were only on the drums for a very short time. So, and research is vague on them, but they only made them for a one year, not even. So if these in fact are those lugs, uh, this drum is super collectible. Uh, they look slightly smaller than the model of lug that came out that I'm used to seeing. So I'm assuming that it is the rare one, but I'm probably wrong. There's a Rogers book I'm trying to, to hunt down that documents a lot of stuff and hopefully they have something on these badges. So if it is the rare one year only beaver tail then uh, the floor tom is worth huge huge bucks especially with the stay tight floor tom leg holders. So don't know for sure but it's starting to lead that way. So we're gonna put it together um, I've had it tuned up before and it sounds phenomenal for a 14 Rogers vintage drum. So uh, we're going to put it all back together and and uh, give, you, give you a few little uh, tunings and uh, then we're on to the bass room. Okay, we got the uh, floor tom all done and we have the uh, small tom all done. And they sound good. I've got them tuned jazz tuning, which is what I like. And we'll give you a little test here. Oh. Hopefully the battery lasts. Don't they look beautiful? Okay. Move that there. So we got the tom. Need a better head. This one's got a little split. And like I say, I'll just go on my foot here. Sorry about that. <laughs> so, anyways, that's the uh, two drums. Right now, the snare drum's already done. Um, just have to do the kick drum, which shouldn't take too long. Thanks for watching.